a vision of who you want to become or your future self. Now, in the beginning for me, when I started doing Dr. Joe's work and he talked about this, I had absolutely positively no idea of what I wanted to be when I grow up or what I wanted to become or what I wanted my future self to look like. So what I started to do then is I started to go for the emotions that I wanted to feel in my future self. And so things for me were like freedom and I wanted to have a community of people that were like-minded and I wanted to have a lot of energy. So what I have done then is I just have this notebook that I put lots of pictures in it of the person that I am becoming and the person that I am now and how I want to expand that. And it really is valuable to begin to develop this vision of your future self. And then what I do is I set an alarm on my phone and it goes off every 54 minutes. And when that alarm goes off, I just drop down in to my body and I notice my posture. Like when we are in fight, flight, or freeze, you know, we have um, diminished capacity to breathe and our posture is poor and we're squinting our eyes. Our physiology is a good indicator of where our thought process is. So every 54 minutes when that alarm goes off, I don't do it very long, but I just take a few minutes, I drop down, I stop, drop, and roll, I drop down into my physiology, I slow down my breathing, I soften my gaze, and I just try to check in with, am I carrying myself as my future self? And I try to begin to walk as my future self. And a lot of times I'll even grab my notebook and look at those pictures in there. It doesn't have to be this long process, but because I get sidetracked, I found that, especially during my working day, every 54 minutes is about the right amount of time for me to do this little bitty check-in.